Severin Films has just released a two-disc special edition of the 1979 horror film, Don't Go in the House. This was my first viewing of the notoriously sleazy classic. Whatever you do, don't go in the house. Stairway by stairway, he draws you closer to madness. Oh, God! <laughs> don't go in the house. But if you do, don't say we didn't warn you. So, did it live up to its nasty reputation? Well, let's find out. Don't Go in the House is about a pathetic man named Donnie who lives with his overbearing mother. He gets home from work one evening and finds her dead. We find out through some flashbacks that she was abusive to him, and her death has finally kind of set him free in a way. So he seals her body up in her room, Norman Bates style, and sets out to do what truly makes him happy, burn naked women to death with a flamethrower. There's a slow and deliberate buildup to this scene, and it's all very effective and disturbing. Now the burning itself was accomplished with an in-camera trick of filming a burning dummy and then the writhing actress at the same time, and layering the scenes. The effect works really well and looks great. Speaking of effects, this was a very low budget film, obviously, but the makeup effects on the burnt corpses look fantastic. And I really love the scenes where Donnie talks to them, along with the visions of his dead mother and the voices that he hears. Most of the film takes place in the house, which looks nice on the outside, but inside is becoming increasingly run down. I really love the peeling wallpaper and decaying interiors of the house. It adds another layer to the film, and was apparently accidental according to the interviews on the disc, and just what the house happened to look like when they were filming this movie. It ended up working out pretty well. A lot of 70s horror films were very downbeat and nihilistic, to use a fancy term, and this film is no exception. Maybe it's just my current mood lately, but I absolutely loved watching this. It's dark, depressing, nasty, and unpleasant, but it's all so well done. From the musical score to Dan Grimaldi's performance, it all works and is brought together by Joseph Ellison's direction. The film is just so atmospheric and foreboding. It really draws you into this man's crazy world and I was never bored by it at all. I've read some criticism that the film is too slowly paced, but I didn't see that at all. This movie reminded me a lot of Maniac, which came out after this. Now I definitely say Maniac is a superior film, but this is solid too. It's definitely not for everyone, but it's a pretty powerful movie that gets under your skin and stays with you. The two disc set includes three different versions of the film. We have the uncut theatrical version, the television version, and the extended integral cut. All three versions have been restored in 2K from the original camera negative. The results are fantastic. There's some minor print damage here and there, but overall this is an excellent restoration. Of the three versions included, the extended integral cut is the way to go. It runs 9 minutes longer than the theatrical cut, and includes the film's original title, The Burning. I definitely prefer the Don't Go in the House title though, as I think it fits the film better. Plus, I don't want to get it confused with the 1981 slasher classic of the same name. Severin has included a ton of special features here. Disc 1 includes two different audio commentaries on the theatrical cut, a 21 minute interview with the producer and writer, a 19 minute location featurette, a 10 minute archival interview with star Dan Grimaldi, and trailers and TV spots. Disc 2 includes an audio commentary on the integral cut, a 15 minute video essay on the film, a 29 minute interview with the director, a 35 minute featurette on Grindhouse Films, an open matte version of the infamous flamethrower scene, and a collection of more trailers. This release comes with a thick slipcover. Reversible art is included as well, with the foreign art actually making this look kind of like a zombie film. This is yet another amazing release from Severn Films. The movie itself is a nasty 70s horror classic, and I highly recommend picking this up.